Hey guys, and welcome to back to Auction Not Included. It's time for a brand new series. We have hit the launch date, and so we are going to go ahead and make a brand new world. If you guys don't know, my name is Twitchy, and I have been playing this game since the release of Early Access. Don't let that fool you, though. I do not know what I'm doing. Let's hit the, the, the new game, and I'm going to hit No Sweat because we're playing a video game, uh, making videos for a video game, and it turns out that that's actually a little bit awkward, but... Because I'm like, you know, we've been playing this before. I'm going to go across all the way over here. And I'm going to go to the Arboreal because I want to try and do something. I have noticed maybe a little bit of a loophole in something here. And I'm going to try and see if we can take advantage of that. You can see that colonizing Arborea will require careful planning right from the start. Already we're probably going to die. But because of its lack of metals, finding biological solutions is a must. But you know this lack of metals thing? I'm just going to click this button a few times. Uh, let's see if we can find one that I am actually happy to work with. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, this one will do perfectly. Okay, so lack of metals. But we've put metal rich in there. So that should, like, balance out. Also, geoactive. Lots of, lots of geysers and vents. I'll take that and a few small boulders that we're going to have trouble digging through. This should be a lot easier than actually the, 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 the survival chance moderate is saying here. But we're going we're gonna to get going here. We're going to try and find out if we can can actually do this. I've not actually loaded up this map, so I have no idea. I've gone around, I've played with a few various maps to try and find out what's going on. I even went and played on like the highest level one, turned out that I could survive for exactly 20 cycles before everybody died from starvation. Alright, so, nails. You know what? Yeah, we're gonna do it. Nails is actually in this uh, line. Boom. Okay, cool. We will take nails on board for the digging. Um, twinkle toes, bottomless stomach. You know what? I'm all right with that. We can live with that. Uh, so this is a digger. Let's get ourselves a builder of some description. First, let's make sure we've not got a builder here. No. All right. Builder of some description. Ren, I mean, you sound good, but you're not quite who I'm after. This, the noodle arms. I'm not sure if I'm after that. Let's have a look. Uh, no athletics, but a buff to strength. No. Joshua. Decrease science, but create it. Yeah, let's go with this one. This is going to be mad under score Frank. Oh, let's let's spell his name right. Bam. Okay, Mad Frank. There we go. And then finally, now I'm never sure what I want on this last one. I either want a farmer or a researcher or maybe an operator. I'm going to go for the researcher. I think that probably what we want. Let's have a look here. What have we got? We got an uncultured noodle arms. Um, uh, the noodle arms is one that I'm worried about. I, I don't know why. Oh, we could have taken that one. That would have been perfect. Uh, mouth breather, no. Narcoleptic, uh, but buff, no. Bottomless stomach. Allergic to the floral scent. I intend to be growing quite a lot of stuff, so let's not do that. Okay, and we will take at the end here for it. I can never remember how he spells his name. I'm going to put double S, double T. It's, I know one of these sets of letters is double, so we'll just put them all in there. And what am I going to call this? Well, this is the... Um, I'm just going to call it LZ Alpha, because <laughs> I literally I don't know what to call it. So Landing Zone Alpha sounds brilliantly... If anybody else has any... Has any Decent ideas for the name of the rock. I'm not sure if we can change it, but let's go. Three duplicates uh, arrive somewhere. We're like, oh, new hopes? Yeah, new hope is all around. Okay, I've awoken at a target location, but my colonization efforts have already hit a hitch. I was supposed to land on the planet's surface, but became trapped inside many miles underground. Although the conditions are not ideal, it is imperative that I establish a colony here and begin mounting an escape. So let's take a moment and just pause and have a look at what we've got around here. We've got igneous rock everywhere. We've got some dirt. We've got some aluminium i am noticing a distinct lack of algae this was something that i was actually expecting what can we do for what is this that's an oxy fern down there now, my big problem here right now is the fact that i do not know what the oxygen situation is going to be like I've, I've not played this map before as i say so we're going to just have to uh, work through and see what we can do another thing that i want to do is start marking out areas for different rooms now obviously i'm not sure if you guys are aware but we've got this room overlay over here um let's just hit that bam I mean, we've got this whole bunch of rooms that we're after here now around the printing pod it turns out that the printing pod itself is a like a decoration item so you can make a, a, a recreation room around it as you can see maximum size 64 times so let's think about what we've got here one two three four okay that's cool 64 divided by four is 16 so we want like 16 across let me just double check my math yeah of course i was right of course i was right one two three four five six seven eight uh, so we want four on each side and then that will be our room so let's do that one two three four and this will be the central sort of central column of our base if you will i'm going to start trying to bring us all out into an area making a nice basically i've got a pattern i've got a set series of patterns that i want to do 
for the living space. Not particularly for the space outside of our areas, but for this, this little living space inside, there is a um, pattern that I want to follow. And this pattern is a four high, four high space in between, followed by... Um, corridors on either side, then you have another block of 64 on each side for another set of rooms, then you've got like three wide series of rooms going up and uh, down. So I've noticed that we've got this oxy fern here, it's probably something that we really, really want to get, in our, uh, get a look into what we're doing, because I do not see, as I say, any way of making oxygen else. So we're going to come down here, we're going to do something like that. Now this will end up going across like so. Yeah, that. That looks pretty good, actually. That looks pretty good. We'll do that. And I'm just going to let these guys dig out. My next next plan is to put the three boxes up, as I say. We need to get a toilet down here. You know what? I'm even going to go ahead and just show you guys that we just need an outhouse. Now, I uh, happen to know that this will be where a door is, right? Then we've got one, two work... Uh, not workbenches, two wash basins. And then one, two, three, four. four. Just, just, just like that. As simple as that, we can start making ourselves some pretty serious areas for all the things we need. Now, I need to count 16 here. It doesn't show me what the spacing is. I'm, this this used to be a thing that happened. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It used to be a thing that happened that would show you a little overlay of what size the, the, the bog box is you're dragging. It turns out, uh, no, that's not a thing that it wants to do here. Now, this I'm going to make a slightly smaller washroom here than would technically be necessary because I uh, want to put a thing on the other side here. Uh, so we'll see how that works out. Uh, probably not actually because it probably won't work out very well actually because of the size of the rooms that I was just talking about But we can have little bulky things on the sides over here now You might be going okay. This is all very good, but you don't have any technology to do that sort of thing You've been talking about I don't know uh, wash basins. Where's this wash basin? Well here it is Let's go and put a couple of these down now the next big thing I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but water is a big priority in this game and I'm trying to figure out how to get down towards it because it's something we need to deal with pretty soon and I'm also noticing that it is literally all the water we've got here a couple of shine bugs whatever this thing is down here looking around at the various uh, animals and critters that we can take advantage of because one of the things look there's a puff nice one of the things that I really really wanted to hit this time was a much higher ranching uh, percentage if you will I want to get much more ranching on the go because we need a the eggs. It's, it's all about eggs. I don't, I don't know if you guys were around for the last playthrough that I did, but we failed to get to uh, we failed to get to space because what do you know? It turns out that you need to be able to make some uh, steel to get off into into a rocket, and uh, yeah, we we just didn't have enough lime to make steel. So we're gonna try and do things like that. Okay, I am gonna let these guys kind of work on a little bit. Maybe put uh, a research lab up here somewhere. Maybe over this side. I'm not sure exactly where we're gonna put it, but yeah, I'm gonna let these guys dig. Maybe I might even see you in the next cycle. Okay, I just realized I have made a small area here. One that is not too hard to uh, correct now that we are like this early in the game. But obviously, uh, rooms are all about internal sizes and I actually count the external sizes. So what we want to do is cancel that, cancel that. Put down some uh, doors there and there. And then we need to rearrange this whole space over this side. We'll just get rid of that. We'll get rid of this one here. And this one actually needs to be deconstructed. Ooh, yeah. Okay, and then the ladders literally just need to move over here and everything will be all good once we've deleted these. Oh no, downtime already. No, we're going to hit our first red alert of the day. I need to get this toilet bill. There is no way that I'm going to let these guys have an end of a cycle without actually coming through and building the toilet because these guys, they need to take care of business every day. I'm not sure if you guys are actually aware of this uh, and if they don't, they will um, spill their business on the floor, spreading food poisoning and just terrible ickiness everywhere. So I try my best to avoid that. Now, what I did here was a little bit of a mistake by asking them to cut, uh, cut down so much stuff before concentrating on the toilet. Uh, so they didn't quite get it finished in the first cycle. But as we now have called the red alert and good old Forrest here has taken time out of his eating schedule to come along and fix that, everything should work out. I'm looking at this water down here. I'm thinking that we need a little uh, pitcher plump, pitcher pump, plump, uh, pumper there yeah totally i can speak uh we'll do this like this and then i'm gonna bring this down but we want to kind of keep this a little bit safe so if i do um hello here and here you might be wondering why i put these little two dig orders here is so that when the straw comes out of the pipe uh this can actually go down a little bit deeper than all the other areas and the water can drip in and we can get this emptied out pretty quickly uh that is basically what all this area is going to be is just for emptying out uh, another thing that you might note that i'm doing 
doing is putting a little lip here so that when <coughs> sorry, if, <laughs> totally not when, uh, our duplicates make a mess. They do it on a flat surface and uh, it doesn't roll into our water because there's nothing worse. Well, there are a few things worse, but it's quite bad when you make a mess in your main water supply. Uh, you know, uh, that's that's true in real life as well. Try not to make a mess in your water supply, guys. Okay, so let's take a moment to look around and see what's different about this arboreal rock as opposed to the normal one. The first thing, obviously, is the fact that we have landed in a not a sandstone desert. That's very interesting to start with. It's all igneous rock and uh, and aluminium and stuff like that. But if we look down here, we've got some mafic rock, was that? I thought that was space stuff, but we got granite and rust. What is rust? I've never come across rust before. Over here we got sand and filtration and, and stuff like this. This looks like it might be one of those hot biomes that we are used to. Um, the rust is definitely a new biome on me. Definitely a new biome. And I'm not seeing anywhere where there is slime lung. Let's press the F9 and see if there's any germs that we have to worry about up here. Incidentally, I did this germ overlay. And whilst we've got a bit of food poisoning to worry about in the toilets, looks like no. Generally, we're not having to worry about how filthy this place is. Okay, so you may have noticed that these wash basins have got this little symbol here saying that they do not have uh, any access to water. They have just disappeared because now our duplicates have built this little uh, water extraction point over here. A little bit worried about how there is only this much water. I'm um, super worried that eventually we are going to run out. I say eventually, that we are going to run out very, very quickly. But Neural Vacuolator over here, I don't know if you guys are aware that this thing gives your duplicates superpowers and I am all about doing that at some point. We need to do a three step process to unlock the uh, the door it turns out, but that's all right, we can live with it. Do we need to put the power in here? What happens if I press F2? It is powered in some way, but this has got zero joules to it. Do I actually have to put my own power in before it will work? I don't know. Uh, it's something we're gonna have to find out, but with the toilets in place and everything else looking great, I think it's time we start thinking about where we're gonna store stuff. Uh, I was gonna make this my storage area, but now that I've just thought about it we've got like one one living floor a second living floor then we want like a utility tunnel top and bottom so maybe we'll make this utility tunnel if i dig through here four and then out like that turns out we're gonna have a double spacing of tiles right here uh that is literally just because i want to make it that thick uh we could even not worry about that okay that that's looking good and all i'm going to use this area for is all the storage bins just just all the storage bins we're gonna have to get this place tidied up nicely and in fact the first duplicate that comes in here who is not part of this crew well i'm in fact gonna make a tidy person that is going to be their entire entire life i'm thinking we're going to put research here we're going to put bunk bunks up here this is going to be a mess hall yeah it's looking good so these pips are new. Let's have a look inside their day space and have a look and see what they are doing here. Pips are a member of the Rodentia order with a strong catching instinct that causes them to find and bury small objects. Caching instinct, sorry. Most often seeds. It's unknown whether their caching behavior is a compulsion or a form of entertainment as the pip relies primarily on bark and wood for its survival. Although the pip lacks a truly opposable thumbs, it nevertheless has highly dexterous paws that allows it to rummage through most tight, space, uh, tight to reach spaces in search of seeds and other treasures. That sounds like they're going to be going through uh, my, uh, my 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 storage containers here that's something to watch out for pip egg uh, it eats trees but excretes dirt that's nice comfort range of 10 to 20 but will exist in much much wider range of temperatures okay that's cool what's he got in his mouth look he's got a thing in his mouth what are you doing buddy what are you doing you got like all like puffy cheeks and stuff. I, I don't know if this is actually going to work in our favour or not. Let's clear the uh, the dig order there. We definitely don't need that. But I was thinking that we we'll probably want to put a whole bunch of stables over this side so that we can get some form of serious animal behaviour on the go. We're being told quite often in the arboreal realm that the uh, biological w ways of doing things are probably going to be better. So we gotta we got to try and figure that out, right? As you can see on the priority overlay here, I've given the uh, cots and the bedroom a slightly higher priority than everything else. So they're going to go through and work on that. And I want to make some sort of generator room up here. It's not so much about the, the actual power, but the fact that I want to build a cot over here. Uh, not a cot. What am I talking about? It's a research station that I want to build over here. It's uh, amazing. You just click on, a uh, click on a tile and you say the word that's in front of you, even though it's the wrong word. Okay, so that is also something I really want to get on with building. But we need, we need to get the bedroom set up because we are nearly at the point where we can get a new duplicate involved and I would like to get as many duplicates involved as possible as i say the first one i think we either want to have a farmer or a tidier if neither of those are on offer to us we will um, 
reject them or perhaps even take whatever care package is uh, going on there. Where's that Pip gone? Is he uh, is he hidden around? There he is. Have you still got... No, look, his, his cheeks are empty again. I wonder what he did with all the stuff. I wonder what he did. Uh, I also want to put down a tile here because it's just a notice that is a missing hole. All right, cool. I will catch you guys when a few things have been done. Top tip, waiting for doors to open and close takes time, so just tell all the doors to be open and eventually your duplicates will just run through them. Now obviously, these guys' high priority jobs need to be done, so hopefully, oh here we go, Mr. Line gonna do the job here, yeah, and that'll just hold the door open for us, and no longer will we have to wait for people to go through there. Sounds good, right? I'm gonna come through, I'm gonna set this now onto a priority six, we'll go all the way through and all the way down, uh, and then that should give us a nice around way to go, and maybe, uh, maybe actually what we want, either a, a fun a farmer, a tidier, or a researcher. These are the things that we're trying to look into here, right? No, we have a researcher. Forrest was a researcher. I knew that. In fact, let's go into the priorities of Forrest. Where are you? I want to give you slightly higher priority researching and everyone else gets a slightly lower priority researcher because it turns out just giving higher priority isn't enough. Uh, over here, we've got to give Mad Frank the high priority uh, uh, building and Mr. Lion the high priority digging. No one is doing any storing. That's fine. We can live with that. Uh, that is the main main things that we had people do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all good. Okay, waiting for all this stuff to get built up. Um, no one's going to be sleeping in their beds. Oh, look, actually, should we just... No, no, no. I, I will see you in about 60 seconds to make this decision. One of the things that I've noticed they've done in the, uh, the launch update is the fact that things that are a problem are shown in red, whereas just uh, objects, uh, orders, sorry, are shown in white. That's pretty nice. It used to be that they were all in red and that you wouldn't know what was important and what wasn't. So, yeah, I like, I like that. I like that a lot. All right, principles are available. Let's have a look. Oh, we can get a colony, su colony summary, but I'm not after that. Okay, suit wearing or cooking. Neither of these are what I'm after. We could get a water package. Let's let's just do it. Let's see what it gives us here. Is it just a bottle? Oh, that's a bit of a shame. I was kind of hoping it would literally just like spill a whole load of water here. And we'd be like, oh, now we need to get it in there. But no, no, that's not quite how it worked. Thankfully, our duplicate should just be able to like carry this around and use it where it's needed. <laughs> is uh, is this a subtle nod to what? Gender last used it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to find out. I'm gonna have to watch for Miss Align to go in uh, and see if the boys leave the seat up and the girls leave the seat down. I'm not sure. I just noticed that one of them was different and I thought that would be interesting to check. Duplicates going around and making all the storage containers right now. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Mad Frank Forest, Miss Align. Let's see what the toilets are like when we are done. I'm uh, actually feeling they're all gonna be up. Yeah, no, they are all up. That's a little bit of a shame. So it must be that this one is down when it's first built. Also, one of them just breathed right past the toilet. Let's decon... Not the toilet, the uh, the wash basin. That is not a thing I want. We're going to turn that one off. We're going to put another wash basin down. Maybe we'll move the toilet along a little bit wide. So do we need wash basin per per toilet? I think we might. I think we might. I normally think that's a little bit of an overkill because they get all like out of sync from each other and end up uh, not all hitting the sink at the same time. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Now, are these guys actually going to go to bed? First night that they get an opportunity to do so. Here we go. Miss Align. Not impressed with the food. I kind of understand because it's not impressive food. Talking about impressive food, we actually need to get a microbe musher up at some point. Even though I do intend to use all of this to uh, make that completely pointless at some point. Uh, we'll we'll talk about that when we get there, of course. Let's just let these go. Oh, look. A colony achievement, huh? got here. Bed and bath. Have at least one toilet in the colony and a bed for every duplicate. I mean, that's pretty good. Red light, green light. Automate a building using sensors or switches from the automation. Excuse me, what? No, I haven't. Game's broken. Game's broken. What's wrong with Miss Alina? She keeps being interrupted. Bright light. It's the shine bugs. Ah, well, we want to, like... Uh, ranch these somewhere. I'm going to probably build some room over here. I'm, I hear that we can only have six... Uh, six critters in any one stable. I don't know why I struggled with that. Yeah, six critters in any one stable, unless they're a puff when they you can only get four. Uh, so it turns out that it's actually about the uh, amount of tiles around them that they can share, uh, and the puffs need more. Puffs need more space. Okay, here we go. We should hopefully be getting our power system put into place here, because it's a little bit silly that we've got all these um, these stations and batteries and stuff like that, but none of it's actually connected together. So good luck, duplicate. I hope you're going to do well. Of course, you're going to come down and dig under this stuff first because this is the higher priority and I suppose I can live with that. I want to go all of those but I don't want the seed and when we eventually get it I do not want 
the uh, organics either, but for now, this is looking pretty good. Okay, it's time to set a few things up here. You can see the battery is currently empty, and I want to make sure that people will come along and actually charge up these batteries, because we want to get the research turning. It's all about the research right now, but unfortunately everybody seems to think that the digging is much more important. I kind of think this is my own fault somewhere along the line. It generally is, if we're to be honest about this, where I've put priorities down at wrong orders. Uh, we've got some sixes here, and we've got a few sixes here, but again, the actual research station is a six as well. But Forrest is going to come along and start causing some power to be generated. That's pretty good. Well, as soon as we can, we kind of want to get off of this uh, what we call hamster wheel technology here, because obviously this is taking up an entire duplicate's time, and we're not about that. Not about that at all. Uh, now, the hatches, where where are they? The, these lovely little creatures, this guy, he will eat, let's see if it tells us anywhere in here, uh, it hatches excrete coal as a waste object, and they eat all of this stuff. Like, I mean, just like, look at all that stuff that they eat. Uh, so, we should be able to take advantage of the hatches, maybe build a stables here, and then the... Um, a coal power plant afterwards. Now the coal power plant a little way down the research line, so we're going to take a little time to get there, uh, but it's a plan for the future. The moment that your research station is made, you can click on it, you can click this research button, though, or you can also hit this research, tra t uh, uh, research tab at the top here, or press R to open the box. Now, I want this basic farming, because not only do I want the composter so I can deal with the output from the toilets, incidentally, your toilet, once it fills up, will output some polluted dirt, and you want to be able to deal with that, that is done by the composter. But I also want the planter box, so we can get some food on the go, I don't know about you guys, but food seems good. But also we have this oxy fern, which uh, I I think is the only way that we can get oxygen at this present moment in time and to plant those I'm actually gonna put them underneath the toilets here but that is not for any sort of room or uh room or space reasons it's because this is where all the carbon is going to end up flowing to and obviously if the carbon is down here we want to have it be in process all right definitely developing a bit of a shine bug issue here you can see it's keeping everyone awake i've put the order down for this guy to be closed and then we're going to seal this area off and i'm hoping that we can just keep him out of here maybe if we light up other areas because shine bug should be attracted to the light and if we press the light overlay here uh, there's not as much coming out of this as I thought there was, but you can see, like, look at this, bright lights all through the base. Not about that. Not about that. Oh, 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 we have earned our first skill point. Misaligned over here has done, gone around and done enough digging that she is, like, good at digging. I know, crazy. The thing is, we don't have to put it into the digging. We can put it anywhere we like, but because Miss Align loves to dig, I'm going to give her the skills of this. Uh, you can also see that I believe it grants her a bonus, or do I have to give her a hat? I have to give her a, a hat. Hard digging. I don't know whether this just happens or not. Let's see, let's see. If I if I come out of here, she's going to go down this way. And Anything actually happening? Because I used to, in the old game, have to let them go to the jobs board, right? But they don't Ooh, they just they just do a thing at the printer now. Yeah, new hat. All right, that's cool. That's cool. It's a new system, and I uh, love it. Let's see what's going on with the research. Oh, we're just we're very close, guys. I'm just gonna sit here and watch this. All right, and we have got the research done. The first thing I'm going to do when the research is done is, of course, go and select another bit of research. Now, there's all sorts of different ways you can go from here. Uh, mostly, the next thing I want is this uh, the oxygen deodorizer here, but I'm going to go through with the interior decorating first and maybe work my way through there. Uh, you'll notice that... The research on this third tier here takes a second type of research. Uh, this is something that you can research. Lots of research involved here. If I come up to one of these, uh, colony development, you can see advanced research, enables you to learn the pink stuff. Uh, you need to build this machine. This is a new machine. Skill scrubber funds and duplicate skill point risk for free assignment. Wow, that's new. So you might be like, okay, so what's this new farming stuff all about? But the first thing I want to do, I put a composter down the back here. Now this thing also releases polluted oxygen so I'm going to give it its own little room just to separate it off from the toilet because we don't want to have a horrific toilet now, do we? Is this only three to one, two, three, four? No, okay, I'm, I must be used to having five tall uh, floors. Okay, the other thing I want to do is put down uh, some uh, farm plots here. And you might be like, okay, well, uh, you were saying something about wanting uh, these oxyferns. Now, there's an oxyfern down here. Why would, I, why would I want to actually plant them? 
Well, as soon as the boxes get, uh, get built, I will show you why, dear viewer. Ooh, Forrest has also learned himself a skill point. Let's come in here. Uh, obviously, what all I'm going to be doing is doing the, uh, the, the matching one for their skills. So, like, Forrest wants to be a researcher, Frank wants to be a builder, etc, etc. The other thing that we have no access to from this farming is the algae terrarium. The problem is, we've not picked up any algae, so how am I supposed to put the algae terrarium down if we don't have an algae? Uh, like, that, that's, that's a thing we got to work on there. No one just died, did they? I thought, I thought we just had the noise for dying there. I was like, no, that can't be a thing. But what can be a thing is planting these oxy ferns here. Also, incidentally, room overlay. You can see that it thinks the entire place is one giant room. But more importantly, the latrine here is, uh, is a latrine. It's great. It's amazing. We've actually got, you can see down the bottom, a morale bonus. I mean, who doesn't want a morale bonus every day? If you're wondering why we would want the morale bonuses, you can see as we move up the skill tree, this bottom, uh, bottom bar here increases how much it, uh, it requires. And that is number of morale points per day that you earn. So at the moment, uh, we've got Forest here earning four morale per day, give or take, average morale. Uh, so that's looking pretty sweet. We could give him another couple of skill points, maybe work our way up these sort of skill trees. Why does this one give extra skill points? I'm not sure, but at least we know that it happens. <laughs> Mad Frank earned a skill point when he was asleep. Crazy. Okay, so you might be wondering, why would you bother planting them here if you've got uh, some oxy ferns in the floor over this side? Well, you might be able to see 25% throughput versus 100% throughput. I think you can already see why, but let's actually look at the numbers. This emits oxygen at about 7.8 grams per second, despite picking up 156 mill milligrams per second. That's quite a quite an unbalanced number there. Uh, but if we come in here, we're going to have a look. 31! 31 is quite a large number compared to 7, just saying. And it's taken in roughly six times the amount there. That is unbelievably good. But if we have a look at this, it's um, not unbelievably good. It could really do with a bit of a, a turbo boost at some point, right? So to counteract that, I am going to rip up every single one that I can find and we're going to put it into the farm pot. F farm pots? Yeah, farm plots are down here. Maybe we can get everything working brilliantly for us. Look, there's a few more up here. We will definitely come and oh, hey, grab these if we uh, can, please. Because, of course, getting this oxygen soid, uh, it's, it's a surprise challenge for this different type of map. Four, three, two, one. Fingers crossed for a farmer tidier person. Farming and tidying. Farming and tidying. Farming and... Well, we got a tidying. That's pretty good. We might grab that one. Uh, we could just make them a farmer as well. Yeah, yeah. We got a... Yeah. We, we, we've got we've got a builder already. We don't really need a tidier. Uh, Lindsay, no, 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 no. This is going to be a Luna. Is it double O? I think it's double O. There we go. All right, cool. I think it's actually Luna Co-op, but you know, it's still good. Let's go and print that one. An ugly cryer. I mean, that's that's the way some things all work. Uh, straight away, Luna is in with an extra skill point. So I'm about that. Let's go and see what they like to be doing here. We've got some improved tidying. That's exactly what I would like you to be doing. Thanks very much. Uh, that's good. We could give you some art fun fundamentals at some point but right now that is good and then the priorities for you Luna are to come in and do not so much a tidying but the storing uh, and the farming is going to be a higher priority so you do farming first followed by going around and tidying everything up so that should, that should work out pretty well for us I'm, I'm really hoping anyway the last bit of research has rolled in for the interior decorating. This means that we can take flower pots and sources of light, but we're not so worried about the sources of light for the moment and slap the flower pots down amongst these because we have picked up a fair few of these mirth leaves. And if we have a look inside here, you can see that they um, support a green hue known for alleviating stress and improving morale. That sounds like something I want to have around my toilet. The other thing that I've got going on right now is we are digging our way to these oxy ferns. Indeed, I'm actually going to do this and just be like, hey guys, super, super high priority. Could we make sure that this gets done right away, please. Because I've got to talk, and I don't have long left to be talking for. And with the last of the oxy ferns being planted, that only leaves me to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time when we're going to find out whether these oxy ferns have anywhere near enough oxygen-producing capabilities to see us through to the next few days. But I'll see you then when we're going to do that and a whole bunch of ranching. Bye!